the forehead of your robot. I woke up to the sound of a radio broadcast emanating from my TV. I was very surprised by this sound since for one, shouldn't there be the sound of static rather than this? And two, why was this playing? Growing angry from this disruption, I changed the channel. By chance, I landed on a rerun of American Dad. Alright. This is a good show. I then went back to sleep. Once again, I was woken up by that same sound. This time, I knew something was really wrong. I then checked to see what channel I was on. Channel 61, it said, a channel where nothing came through. Now why was my TV tuned to dead air? I didn't do that. Before I was about to change it back to the channel I was on however, I saw colors appear faintly on the screen. Wait, was this really dead air? This wasn't making any sense. As I was thinking, a picture suddenly faded in. The image showed a man, standing in front of a stained yellow wall. He was dressed in a cartoony outfit, spouting green and blue stripes on his jacket. The man also had red messy hair that looked to be untrimmed. Another odd detail was that he wore those goofy glasses with a large nose and mustache on it. The most striking detail however, was his fearful expression. He genuinely looked afraid, as if he was being forced to do whatever he was doing. What is this? Is this normal? I guess I have to watch in order to find out. The shock was facing the man as he was reading something to the audience, or me in this case. I had no clue what he was saying, since he had a thick accent of some sort, it sounded like a blend of French and Russian which distorted his voice badly. I also could tell he was reading something since he looked at a small, worn out children's book, and turned the pages every so often. This went on for two minutes before he dropped the book on the ground. He then stared into the camera with a dim-witted expression. That was a waste of time. I then reached for the remote, before a gargling sound emerged from the TV. What the hell? I looked at the screen to see the man's expression change from dim-witted to menacing. What is he going to do now? Not many seconds later, the man grabbed the top of his head and paused for 30 seconds. Why is he grabbing his head? What will happen next? I hope to god this will lead to something funny. Then, the man pulled his head off like a mask. What I saw next could not have been acceptable to be shown on TV. The man's real head was lacking of skin, and showed blood-covered muscle that built up his face rather than bone. Veins were also seen tied around his face like tape holding a ball of paper. A massive crater was on top of his head where his brain should have been, and had a purple liquid in it. Then, there was his face. That awful, awful face. His massive eyes were that of holes, with the bottom of his eye holes curved upwards, and his mouth was curled into a large, open smile with skin present, where his teeth should have been. Another thing to mention, loud alien-like laughter was blaring through my speakers that seemed to come from the man. I was beyond terrified by what was happening, I felt myself shake, I began to sweat down my forehead, and I started to feel my heart beat fast. I had enough of this horror, so I grabbed the remote and pressed the power button. But instead of the TV shutting off instantly, the man spoke. He muttered in the same unsettling alien voice. May 18th, 2028. Then, it proceeded to shut off, and I was left staring at my reflection on the TV, looking as pale and horrified as I imagined. <laughs>